that coming the 11th of this holy month Ursa Mubarak of Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jailani, Sultanul Awliya, Qaddasallahu Siru, that Allah's infinite rahmah be upon Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jailani salam, and that immense realities that these are stations of a eternal dress and that Sayyidina Shamat al-Fardani and Abdul Rauf yamani that the station of Sayyidina Ibn Arabi Qaddasallahu Siru for ilm and knowledge and then on the lataif for from the qalb to the seer for struggle and haybah and majestic might and majesty is Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jailani Qaddasallahu Siru that known in a heavenly dimension of Shamat al-Fardani for Sayyidina ibn Arabi and Mawlana Shaykh Abdul Qadir, Shaykh Abdul Raufu Yamani. And these are immense stations and proximity for the arrival of Sayyidina Mahdi And that Alim al-Qadir the sifat of Alim and Qadir that when Allah want to dress the servant and open the servant's realities with Divinely knowledges that grant the servant this ayn, this ayn of vision that when their eye, their eyes in Arabic is ayn, ayn is also the huruf of ayn which is Allah's ancient alim ancient knowledges. That when Allah want to dress the servant with these knowledges Sayyidina Ibn Arabi Qaddasallahu Siru bestows and begin to convey to the servant these Divine knowledges and realities. The dress from the realities of barzakh and malakut to dress the servant in this mulk and dunya reality. So that these wazirs of Sayyidina Mahdi the eternal reality of these stations is Shamat al-Fardani. When we call upon, Ya yes, Sayyidina Shamat al-Fardani, Abdul Rauf Yamani, Imam al-Arifin, Lisan al-Mutaqalimeen, Arif Tayyar Maruf ibn Mulhan, Shamat al-Fardani, oh, Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik Madhya Sahaba wa Sayyid Muhammad al Mahdi, Shamat al Fadlani, Abdul Rauf, Yemeni, Yusuf al Siddiq, Imam al Arifin, Lisan al Mutaqalimeen, Arif Tayyar Maruf ibn Mulhan, Burhan Karam, Qawth al Anam, Sahiba wa Sayyid Muhammad al Mahdi. That when we're asking from Shahmat al Fadlani that this tajalli and reality of Sayyidina Ibn Arabi dresses that servant and begin to treat and teach them with ilm al Laduni wa hikmati bi salihin. And when Allah want to bestow that servant with these knowledges must also open Sifat al-Qadr upon the servant to be guarded. And then the reality and the dress of Shaykh Abdul Qadr to dress that servant from the oceans of Qadr and the oceans of power. That Allah want to dress the servant with ancient knowledges is a Divine gift but at the same time the servant must be dressed by ancient realities of Qadr, ancient oceans of power that dress the servant, protect the servant and that Allah assign dragons to watch over that servant. And these are dragons of Jahannam mm. that they come to guard the servant against any shaitan, any type of oppression upon the earth, they punish them from heavenly punishment. And that's the reality that when Allah want to bestow servanthood and say that a servant is rising from rijal to abd, it's not slave. The reality of servanthood is that Allah dress the servant from Divine knowledges that grants them an ayn from Divinely oceans of an alim, ancient which represents the four khalifas that circumambulate the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, Ali. And Sayyidina Abu Bakr's name was Abdullah. 
But out of ihtiram for Prophet he said, I'm Abu Bakr. Mm. Didn't want to be called Abdullah in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad by four ayns. Means that these are the, the, the realities of uloom and knowledges that Allah want to bestow the servant, dress the servant from these ancient knowledges. That these souls and the station that they achieved, they are eternal stations. Whether they occupy physically when they lived amongst us, more powerful when they are going into the world of malakut. And they are ever present wa kulli shay. Allah describes in this holy month of Surat Al Yaseen, wa kulli shay qadir. That their power encompasses everything. When Allah give to the servant from malakut, that power encompasses everything. Because the malakut controls this mulk and this dunya. So, it means the love of awliyaullah and the adab and manners and ihtiram of what Allah want to bestow upon that servant when He wants to begin to open for them to become abd. They first must be in the schools of rijal. How can someone become an abd, abid? A servant of the servant if not into the schools of rijal and training and, and tarbiyah in which to be trained how to have good character. Trained that's why when you email and you get the response you don't want, you don't fire back emails angry, aggressive, capitalized letters. Can you imagine shouting in the presence of a shaykh? Your fingers are shouting, your, your character showing. Of course they send you everything wrong to see what's wrong with you. So when we would have majlis and you would come and the person would come and say, why you guys eat so late? Why you eat so late? Says exactly why we eat so late, to show you what, are you a starving person? It's not a soup kitchen, you have food at home. But you just don't have patience. This person's not coming hungry, they have food at home. Eat a hamburger on the way. Who said this was a soup kitchen? It's a zikr. But just to show how much you're in need of that school of tarbiyah, by the character you exhibit, so they must be enrolled in schools of rijal. So first level is to be in the schools of rijal. When Allah was… Allah want to bestow the servant with the heavenly treasures begins to bestow the ayn. That you're being fed from these ancient knowledges, you're being taught from these ancient knowledges. As you write them, learn them, understand and meditate and contemplate for this fires, why? So that this alim is coming from Sayyidina ibn Arabi, their teachings, their fires, their madad and support through the tongue of the shaykh is pushing the knowledges out. Shaykh Abdul Qadir is pushing then the qudra that meditate and contemplate because this power ocean has to begin to dress you so that you are a vehicle for ancient knowledges. That your, your khuluq, your character, your energy, your entire being is a vehicle and a vessel for these Divinely knowledges and this qudra and power that dressing upon your soul that perfects your character and perfects the reality. So yes, they're amazingly important in tariqah. They're immense in the, in the realities of, of reaching to the realities. Means that if the student is progressing and begins to learn on how to meditate and how to contemplate, many realities of the heavens open. That the student will learn that all the Prophets are important to you, not just one. Prophet holds the key of every reality but if you don't have a relationship with Sayyidina Adam salam, wa isma kullaha. That I gave all knowledges to Sayyidina Adam as salam, why you don't have a, a love and you're not meditating to have that reality to come? So no, the tariq doesn't have every secret on its open page. They first teach you, come to the tariqah, come to Naqshbandiyatul Aliyah. Its miracle is Divinely knowledges because of its access into the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad Come learn the basics. Come love the shaykhs, learn how to have their muhabbat, how to keep their hudur and their presence with the good character, good akhlaq. By doing these practices you begin to lose yourself and enter into their fana. Then these knowledges will begin to come when this kitab of Lataif al-Qalb is about the house of Allah 
every lataif of the heart is a layered secret. What the Prophets represent in this house of Allah you have to have a love for Sayyidina Adam Sayyidina Nuh comes to perfect the faith. Sayyidina Ibrahim and Sayyidina Musa that these are two characteristics of hearing, seeing and speaking to Allah These characteristics have to open with the reality of Sayyidina Ibrahim and Sayyidina Musa and then Sayyidina Isa the love and respect and ihtiram for Sayyidina Isa to understand that true reality that we're going to raise you into the heavens so that you can be perfectly presented to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad So it means all the Prophets have something for our perfection, all of the awliya have something for our perfection, all of the holy companions have. How can you have any knowledge if you don't have a love for Sayyidina Uthman? Jami al-Qur'an in Majid, the compiler of the Holy Qur'an, they don't have to say it all the time in their tongue but they're not able to speak the realities if they didn't have that love. And as your heart progresses you'll understand in their teaching that, yeah of course you have to have the love. These holy companions they hold these keys that you want the knowledges of Qur'an, you have to love me more than you love yourself. Sayyidina Umar Farooq has to teach us salam to stand for truth and come against every type of falsehood. Sayyidina Abu Bakr as-Siddiq as comes to teach us to be truthful in your character and in your deeds. And everything you have is for La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah When we have that type of immense love says, then all of what was poured into my heart begin to pour into your heart. Because you become Siddiqiyun, you become dressed by their love, you be with whom you love. So Prophet was teaching us, love my companions. If you love them they're going to com- uh, accompany you and dress you from everything out of their love for me. Of course they love you because I love you. If I love you they're all around you dressing you and blessing you. Just to seek the ridha of Sayyidina Muhammad and then we get to Imam Ali and the reality of the bab and the gate and the reality of the Zulfiqar and why Shaykh Abdul Qadir and, and the importance of 11th is because it represents La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah One, the Bahrul Ahad, the ocean of Ahad and the one of Sayyidina Muhammad a Bahr Wahid. The oneness of the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad and the one unique oneness of Allah that this secret of eleven and the secret of mirroring is the secret of La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah which then manifests at a Zulfiqar because that is the eleven, the Zulfiqar is the attached reality of La ilaha illallah he connects to the meme to make this sword connected. And from them Muhammadun Rasulullah comes, this is the two rivers where Nabi Musa wanted to meet. So yes it has immense realities, immense blessings for us. But you, you don't start at Z in tariqah. You start at A and so A what's the benefit of throwing all those realities out if you don't know how to connect and you don't know how to have good character and you don't know how to have the energy building up within our system. That's why it's important to teach how to make your tafak or how to make the contemplation and to know that as soon as we begin Allah are going to test us to see what type of anger we have, what type of issues we have. So that he can give the reward of good character inshaAllah. Allah dress us and bless us and dress us from the reality of all these realities whom they take from the reflection of Sayyidina Muhammad Click the link now to subscribe.